Hi everybody, welcome to Best of British Blackwell. Today we're going to be making the good old fashioned traditional sausage roll. I'm going to be uh, putting a little bit of a modern twist on them um, and beefing them up with a few kind of special flavours. But essentially this is how you make a decent sausage roll. So come and have a look at the ingredients that we've got and we'll get cracking straight away in this really simple quick recipe. So to make the sausage rolls you are going to need obviously some sausages. These are very basic uh, pork sausages, no other ingredients to those and I've taken the skin off of them and I'm just going to leave them as they are and they will just sit inside the pastry. Uh, the pastry here is admittedly shop bought puff pastry. Um, I can make puff pastry, it takes a little bit of time, it takes a little bit of effort and it is worth doing but for this recipe I'm just going to use the shop bought stuff which is just as good. Um, and the additional ingredients that we're going to use are some whole grain mustard um, which is very tasty. There's some um, English mustard here as well which is going to give them a bit of heat. And then I'm going to do a second batch which is going to have some tomato and chilli chutney and some cheddar cheese. You've got two egg yolks in here which we're going to use to um, brush over the top of the sausage rolls and to seal the ends of the pastry. And then finally you've just got some plain flour which we're going to use to dust the board here. So the first thing that you need to do is get your pastry out roll it out and have it ready to put the sausages in. Okay so our pastry is now out as you can see it's quite an even texture throughout and the very first step is to cut it straight down the middle because I'm going to be making two batches of sausage rolls we want two lots of pastry so you just cut it straight down the middle and divide it into two sections. I'm just going to take this section away for the moment and working on the greaseproof paper that comes with the pastry. I'm just going to turn this over. It's just going to give it a very light dusting of the plain flour that I showed you earlier, just to stop it from sticking, give it a rub into the skin, into the pastry, sorry. So used to working with me. There we go. Now this is the section that we're going to work on. Now as you can see I've laid these sausages out and it's roughly the same length as the pastry. So that's really handy. I haven't had to do too much rolling out there. Now the first sausage rolls that we're going to make are going to be the whole grain mustard and English mustard sausage rolls. So take your whole grain mustard, spoon it through the middle. Good couple of dollars for that. And that is lovely. And then we get a knife. And again, because these are going into a sausage roll, you don't need to be too neat and tidy with this. Um, just get a good helping of the Coleman's English mustard. Oh now, I love the mustard. I love the nice uh, peppery and hot taste you get from the mustard. So it's perfect in a sausage roll. Sausages and mustard, absolutely spot on. So here you just put your sausages end to end, no messing around with sausage meat that you have to buy separately. Just whack them straight in here. You can see they're an absolute perfect fit as well. Now what we do is take the egg yolk, run it along the edges of the pastry here. And this stuff acts like glue. Um, I've seen some people that um, put the sausages and the, the, the fillings towards the end of the pastry and then literally roll them, which is obviously where they get their name from. But I find that this is much easier to do. And now working from one side to the other, roll these up. And then carrying it on, just flick them over. You're going to lose a bit of filling, that's not a problem. Just roll them straight over on top. There you go. And then if you roll it backwards, or keep, keep rolling, you'll see that they've overlapped a little bit there. Now you've got the filling coming out at the bottom, but that really isn't going to matter too much at all. We'll cook them from the bottom upwards anyway. But just before you start to cut them up into their individual portion sizes, just get a fork and push the pastry down on top of itself. 
and that will just make sure that you get a decent seal and a decent seal means a good cook of the meat as well and then just roll it back on itself tuck the edges in just tidy them up a little bit and then the last thing that you do here is get a knife and just a few little slits along the top again it lets the um, steam and the heat leave the sausage rolls and it will ensure an even cook so that's the first one I'm now gonna just set these to one side and get the other the other pastry ready to use on to our next concoction which is going to be the um, tomato and chili chutney with cheese um, very simply all I've done here is I've just twisted the greaseproof paper over obviously you saw that some of the filling of the other sausage rolls leaked out we don't want that on this pastry so I've just tipped it over again get some flour just to make sure that the uh, pastry doesn't stick to the greaseproof paper just rub that in and then flip it over and we go again first of all we'll go with this lovely chili and tomato chutney a few good spoonfuls of that along here be nice and generous with it the pork is a quite a strong strong taste anyway so anything that you use to accompany the pork you need to make sure you use plenty of otherwise you just won't get the taste at all so that's plenty of that and I've got some decent cheddar here I'm going to do two layers of the cheddar I'm going to do one layer along the bottom here making sure I get right to the ends with the cheese and then on go the sausages Give your hands a wipe because you've been touching the raw meat. Um, so I'm just stretch these out a little bit more. Always keep clean hands. Um, and then just before I put the cheese on top again, I'm just going to get my pastry, pastry brush down the side so I get a decent seal. That's lovely. Finally, this side. You'll notice I'm not putting any salt and pepper in these. Lots of people will say, "Oh yeah, yeah, look, put lots of salt and pepper in there," but actually, I don't really think it needs it. And finally, I'll get this, the rest of this cheese. We'll sprinkle that along the top and the side. And then all we'll do, just before we roll this, we'll just make sure that we've got all the cheese as close to the center of the pastry as possible. So just get your, your fork along there. Just kind of brush it in towards the middle. It doesn't matter if you make a mess. It really doesn't matter at all. So again, pastry straight over the top. And there's a little bit of give in the pastry as well, so you can you can use that. The pastry will move a little bit and you can kind of tuck it over. So don't worry, if you think you haven't got enough, enough pastry, it will stretch. And then getting your fingers in there, give it a good turn. This one's a little bit more full than the last one. But they're still gonna be very, very good. Give it a good turn and then just roll it over. And then again, like you did with the last ones, roll them back on themselves and get that brush out, tuck sausage meat in there a little bit. And then just brush the pastry down so you get a decent seal. Again, it doesn't matter if some of the filling starts to come out as long as the pastry overlaps. And then finally, what we're gonna do is, just after we put the cuts in these, just run them along. Then you want to get them onto their tray where we're going to divide them up in a moment. You can get rid of all of this. And then in a moment, what we're going to do is we're going to divide these up and brush them with their egg white. Okay, final step of the process is to chop them up. Now, some people will start to portion these up on their chopping board or, or wherever. I find it easier to do it on the tray that they're going to cook on because you're going to make a mess on that anyway. So you may as well start portioning them up here. All you need to remember is the, the fillings in them. So I've got the tomato and cheese this side and I've got the, um, uh, the mustard and whole grain mustard that side. What you could do if you wanted to is just put a little note on the greaseproof paper so that when they come out of the oven you know exactly where they are. Um, I'm not going to bother with that because I like both of them just as much. So literally taking a knife, just cut them down into good inch and a half portions. These will puff up in the oven. I mean if you wanted to, you could leave these as whole sausage rolls. Um, there's absolutely nothing wrong with that whatsoever. You could leave them as just one whole big long sausage roll 
This would probably be close to that new kind of foot long sausage roll that Morrison's are doing. Uh, but I like to break them up into portions. I've left one a bit bigger than the other here, which is not a problem. There we go. Uh, they're good for kids to grab hold of as well in terms of uh, cutting them down into smaller portions. Um, it makes it a really decent party snack then as well if they're in smaller portions. And spread them out on the tray, give them plenty of room because the puff pastry will puff up. It will get bigger. And then just get them ready to portion up and then start uh, to um, brush on the egg yolk. So let me finish these and I'll show you them when they're ready to go in the oven. There we go. So these are ready to go into the oven. Um, the uh, egg yolk has just been pasted all over the top of every part of the pastry that you can see. And these are now going to go into the oven um, 200 degrees, fan oven 200 degrees, for about 20 minutes or until they're a really nice deep golden brown. So these have had 20 minutes in the oven and as you can see they've come out a lovely golden brown colour. The uh, egg wash on top of them has made them go that lovely golden colour. I'll just zoom in a little bit more. On the right hand side we've got the um, tomato uh, and chilli chutney with cheese and then on the left hand side you've got the whole grain and English mustard sausage rolls. And as you can see they've cooked nice and evenly throughout. They're well done on the bottom. You will get a little bit of kind of flaky pastry hanging around at the end, but that's not a problem. It's quite tasty. Um, they don't have to be pretty, they just have to taste good, and they really do. So you can serve these up with like a ketchup dip or a sweet chili dip, something like that. But there we go, we made those in about 15 minutes and they cooked in 20 minutes. So nice, quick, easy, simple, decent old fashioned recipe for you. Enjoy.